Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. I'm really close to completing one year of CGM. So I just thought, let me sit down, make this video talking about some of the mistakes that I made on my curly hair journey. And hopefully some of you might relate to these mistakes or it might help you not make the same mistakes that I made. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. The very first mistake that I made is using a small dime size amount of product on my hair. Now obviously all of us have different textures of hair, all of us have different hair density and different hair lengths and so using a tiny dime size amount of product would not help me get any results. So I remember in the beginning of my journey, I kept asking myself, why isn't this working? Why does my hair still look dry as a bone? And then finally I realized that, okay, I'm using too little product. So I know that some of you watch my videos and look at how much product I'm using and get a little scared and intimidated, but I would ask you to experiment, at least try using a little more or a little less. Experiment with the amount of product that you use because it could make such a huge difference and it could be absolutely game changing in your routine. The second mistake that I made, oh my goodness, this was a horrible mistake, was diluting my shampoo when I was washing my hair. So I think I watched a tutorial or something. So in the beginning of my journey, I decided to do the same. And oh my goodness, diluting your shampoo. Let me explain this to you guys. When you start CGM, they tell you that, hey, if you have wavy hair, wash your hair once a week. If you have curly hair, wash your hair once in 10 days, I think. And then for kinky and coily hair, I think they tell you to wash it way less than that. Now, in the beginning, when you're going gung-ho and you have no idea what you're doing, making that mistake of using, number one, you're using a sulfate-free shampoo, which means that shampooing process, that process that your hair is used to, that is going to be totally different. The experience is going to be totally different. Secondly, you're also going to be caking on so much product, right? The first time you wash your hair with the leave-ins and the oils and the gels, etc. My recommendation to you guys would be that please start with a clean slate. There is so much research that has come forward now. You also know that some of the biggest curly girls use sulfates because it is so important that when you're cleansing your hair, if you're cleansing your hair once a week, oh my goodness, make sure that you're using enough product. Listen, your products are going to last you. You are not going to finish one bottle of shampoo in a month. That I absolutely guarantee you. Each product that you buy on CGM, trust me, it's going to last you three, four, five months in the very least. So please don't be chindi with your products. Don't be chindi with your shampoo at least. If you're washing your hair once a week, make sure that you're cleaning your hair and you're making sure that all that dirt and all that debris is off your scalp. Because if you don't clean your hair and your scalp properly, then you will have bacterial infections. Bacterial infections will become fungal and fungal infections essentially would be seborrheic dermatitis. So your dandruff. And also tell me if some of you can relate. You've caked on so much product and then when you go to refresh, you've gotten your hair damp and then when you put the conditioner on your hair, you notice that that conditioner looks black or when you're shampooing your hair, you notice that the color that is coming off of your hair is like straight up gray or black. I'm sure you can relate to some degree. We live in India. There is so much dirt. There is so much pollution. Plus, sometimes we have serum in our hair. We have oil in our hair. We're roaming around. Plus, sometimes we tend to SOTC with serums, with oils, all of that could be a little sticky. And imagine you're on the street, walking around, you have all of that pollution, all of that dirt, all of that grime, and that oil on your hair, your hair is acting like a magnet, attracting all of that dirt and all of that filth onto it. So please, when you're shampooing, please make sure that you're getting a good, cleanse and you're actually getting rid of all of that dirt and build up that is sitting on your hair. 
please don't be diluting your shampoos maybe in certain climates it could work for you but i live in india calcutta we have a lot of pollution here there's a lot of dirt and grime so if you're washing your hair once a week i would say please don't be diluting your shampoo trust me itna chindi panti mat karo yaar your shampoos are going to last for a really long time that was a mistake that i made a huge mistake huge regret and i would wholeheartedly recommend not to do it number 3 not starting slow and going all out thinking that i could do the whole 9 yards like the whole shablam all of it like on day 1 so the very first time that you wash right it is definitely going to take you some time to get used to shampoos that number 1 don't lather enough and psychologically we're used to that lathering feeling right to feel like yes my scalp is clean my hair is clean so without that sulfate shampoo and then add to that not washing your hair in 7 days this is a huge mistake i would say in the beginning give yourself this goal that yes down the line i am going to wash my hair once in 7 days but please don't make that jump right away first walk and then you jump and then you leap what i'm trying to say is if you're used to washing your hair every day then tell yourself hey i'm going to start by not washing my hair once in 3 days and then when you're a little more comfortable a few weeks have gone then try to stretch it to 4 days see how you feel anyway the whole styling process is so tiresome right of you waiting for your hair to dry and doing the whole routine you won't be able to do it every single day so slowly slowly build it up you know go to 4 days few more weeks go by see how you feel see if your scalp is adjusting because in the beginning trust me okay this is what is going to happen and also i read an article about this i'm going to leave it down below such a beautiful article i was relating with it hardcore word for word point for point i was like oh my goodness i have to share this with you guys so in the beginning when you're using a sulfate free shampoo you're going to feel like yeah the lather is not happening my hair is not getting clean and then of course you will have your shampoo brush and you will go all in right so you will be rugging your head and your scalp trying to get that dirt out saying yes this is going to give me some good exfoliating action this is going to be really good for me i'm going to stimulate my hair growth as well so let me just go scrubbing and you'll go crazy right now what you'll do is you will over cleanse which means that you will make such an effort with your shampoo that you're going to strip your scalp completely of all of your natural oils and obviously your scalp is not going to be used to that and so what your scalp is going to do is it is going to over produce oil think of it this way if you have oily skin then technically dermatologists will tell you that maybe you have very dehydrated skin and your skin is trying to overcompensate so not lose any of its moisture and therefore it is producing oil right your sebaceous glands are producing oil on your face which is why we have oily skin think of it similarly when it comes to your scalp okay you are going to be cleaning so hard you're going to overcompensate with that cleaning action with that brush you're going to be scrubbing your shampoo hoping and praying that you get a good cleanse and you're going to completely dry your scalp out and then the sebaceous glands on your scalp are going to say hang on the scalp is completely dry we have to overcompensate and then it's going to start producing more oil When you started CGM tell me did you feel like suddenly your scalp became super super oily and your scalp was feeling very heavy you felt uncomfortable i'm sure you can relate because this happened to me so yeah no matter what you're doing take it easy go slow and do not over cleanse get a good cleanse there's a difference between cleaning enough and cleaning too much don't feel like just because you're in the shower shampooing your hair for 10 20 minutes you've done a fantastic job that is not how it works essentially this point can be summed up in one line learn to walk and then you can run Number 4 following CG absolutely by the book and being very strict with myself saying that I am not going to stray at all I'm going to do this like absolutely to the T and I'm not going to go even a little bit here or there what does that mean when I started CG I stopped combing my hair all together now listen yes i know that in my routine i've showed you that i detangle my hair with a comb in shower right but if you actually 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 check cg it says no combing at all which means that you have to finger detangle so 
Can you imagine me in the shower using my dime size amount of product, diluting my shampoo and then with that dime size amount of product, I was trying to finger detangle my hair. Oh my goodness. Guys, everything needs to be taken with a grain of salt. There are so many rules that you can and cannot break. Just because I follow like a modified version of CG, it might not work for you. Please remember that you can absolutely experiment. Just because you're doing CG doesn't mean that you have to do CG by the book. Because as you guys know, I break so many rules of CG. I color my hair. Technically, you're not supposed to color your hair when you're on CG. You're not even supposed to use any sulfates, whether it's for clarifying or not clarifying. You are not supposed to do anything but finger detangle your hair. You are not supposed to use alcohols at all. You are not supposed to use preservatives. But listen, some of these rules can absolutely be broken. Sometimes it is very important for your products to have some preservatives in them because that is just going to extend the shelf life. You don't want to open your conditioner and you don't want it to get spoiled in like one month and therefore if a preservative is there in the conditioner or in the shampoo or in your products in general it's there for a reason in the same way once in a while if you have to use a shampoo with a sulfate to get rid of buildup then please do it because trust me apple cider vinegar and baking soda are not enough to get rid of product buildup and that's going to build up on your hair so when you're starting cg please don't go completely by the book you can absolutely follow a modified version of cg which means that in the beginning if you feel like hey i have a function it is somebody's wedding i absolutely have to straighten my hair i can't not do it this is a huge deal and let's say you're on month one of CG or something then please make your own rules don't go completely by the book do what feels comfortable to you and then once you're completely into it then commit so those were all of the tips that I had to share with you today there's gonna be a part two to this video so if you enjoyed this one then be sure to catch the next one if it is already out you will find it linked down in the description all right thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoy this video as always give me a thumbs up leave me a comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for watching guys my name is michelle and i will see you in the next one bye